what's going on y'all so I just bought Amazon and the way I look at it Amazon I first got it at $89 back I think it was last year when it dipped but then I gave a lot of that away to my ex at the time <laughs> so she has more shares than me until lately I look at it Amazon is like invested in three four types of companies at once so you're able to diversify in a way just with that one stock and I think I just think it's an incredible company that's going to continue to improve profit margins you know they got a significant investment in AI and with the AWS then that is a platform. I used to use AWS. I had an online education um, training site. I think I still got the domain. Life Design Academy at US. But I was in school then and I wasn't paying attention and that credit card expired. So the hosting went down, but I, the domain was separate. Anyway, so I used AWS and it was awesome because I didn't have to use YouTube and it's secure and it's cheap and it's a great alternative so a lot of businesses use this aws people just don't they use aws at scale and then resell they break it down they buy huge uh data blocks or storage and then they break it down and build their business off of it and resell in different ways to other retailers anyway and that's just one aspect of the business model so there's a lot with Amazon that a lot of people don't understand now we're coming up on Christmas and you know fourth quarter their profit margin should no but the profit margin should go up a little bit revenues definitely should go up uh, they had started working on things to improve their margin cut down on expenses they letting go people so uh and of course they're going to hire for the season i'm sure but i think they let go of not just warehouse workers but different um, positions that probably was unnecessary so if you look if you look at the five-year trend and you see that amazon is going up five year trend one year trend Amazon is going up year to date the trend is up now you break it down further on the three month yes if it's about where it was three months ago and of course anything smaller than that except for a week ago is pretty much uh, not useful <laughs> to give you what you want to see but long term then you see the trend is up for Amazon and you know they just steadily grow and build and expand and um, <clears throat> and diversify in what they offer if they see a way to make money then they don't just say if they think hey this is going to be a profitable position to be in they go hard and they go deep and they position themselves so that they have leverage in that area so I like the way they move but let me show you something as far as deciding on when to get in let's look at the year chart so anytime there's a huge run up is all I want to show you never buy I mean you don't know when the top is but if it's running up running up running up you don't want to really just jump in because more than likely there's going to be a pullback at some point from that that spot if you see it stop running and it starts with what's called consolidating like maybe for the the day or two it stopped running up and it fluctuate in that area okay then 
it's going to likely pull down. So you see right here, it ran up 71, 81. Yeah, if you would have waited, then it dropped down to 169. Then it run up again to 174. Like, that's the high. If you just wait and see what happens, you see it drops down. And you might say, uh, it's going back up when it got to 170. And it might have, but that's still a lot better than paying up here. But it dropped down again because it was dipped deeper before it got to 170 and it dropped down again to 167. And you can also look at whatever price it goes, whatever price it goes up to on the run up, like how much further down was it before that run up and how long did it stay down? Because the longer it stayed down, well not necessarily. I mean you just gotta feel the overall market basically to get a feel in, but um you see it ran up again right here 174 then it dipped again 173 but it didn't, didn't dip much and ran up again to 178 then it dipped again then it ran up again to 176 and then it dipped again but this time it dipped all the way down to 171 and then it ran up 176 and then it dipped again to 174 then she really went on a run went all the way up but you, again even in the micro you see it went to 179 and they had to give up some of that at the 178 but it was this was 2024 in march oh yeah that was it you know everything was moving in so it, she just really ran away dip right here but it went all the way up to 189 then it dropped all the way back down because look how big that run-up is the bigger the run-up is the higher the run-up is then the more we're talking about probabilities the more it may come back down so this is the 19th the last time it was down at that price was a month earlier the 18th of march you see so a month basically of going up it was down at that price was a month earlier the 18th of March you see so a month basically of going up well not a month yeah almost a month of going up but then it got back down and we're just gonna go a little faster here it runs all the way up to 189 comes all the way back down to 176 it runs all the way up over time to 199 and it comes all the way back down to 161 which it hadn't seen that price until I mean since uh, shoot, about February of But February sometime, probably first, yeah, February 1st, it was at 161, and August 5th, it made it back down there again. So my point is, you know, when things start moving hard, then people have what's called FOMO, and you jump in and you end up buying at one of these tops, then you gotta go through that dip, that drop. And what I'm saying to you is, when you see it running up like that, then try to be patient, try to be disciplined, and wait for some kind of drop. You don't know when the bottom is, you don't know when the top is, you don't know when the bottom is. And the biggest way to try to make a decision is to wait to what's called a consolidation. So when it get up there to the top and it hovers around that number for a while, then that's consolidating then it's you, you know you pay attention to what's going on in the company you pay attention to what's going on in the economy what's happening in the news in the world and you probably can determine hey it's probably going to go back down from here so then you wait or it might go up some more but here's the thing if it's done ran up high it might go up some more but it's probably going to drop back down below where it is at that point where you're saying what you're trying to decide. Is it gonna go up from here or is it gonna go down? 
If you're saying that, it could go up some more, but more than likely, if you're questioning it because of how much it's run, it's gonna go down. If not right back down, then it might go up a little bit more and it's still gonna end up going down because think about it. Now, think about psychology. A lot of people was at the same point, like, hmm, even if they just bought, it's like, dog, I might have made a mistake. And now you got bias remorse. I might have made a mistake. I, it's probably gonna go down. It's, it's been done, went up so much and it done pause, it might go down. So now they sell, you see? And then you got traders, big heads, you got different people who trading and they're gonna sell. So that's why you just wait. That's why it's almost guaranteed that on big run-ups, it's gonna go down. So anyway, so now let's go to the week chart. Let's go to the week chart. And a week ago, the lowest, oh, the lowest point was like 182. It runs all the way up to 189 on a week. And by the way, and then it's consolidating a little bit, fluctuating a little bit between 187 and 188. 188 gets all the way down to 185, 187, 188. This is called a triple top. And if it if it hits the triple top and doesn't move higher, then more than likely it's going to break and it's gonna go lower. And that's what it did today. It went lower. I uh, first tried to get it for 185, but then I changed it to 186. I did chase a little bit. Changed it to 186.08, yeah, but now it has dropped down to 185.75. That's where we at. But my average is 187, and it started off the day I was at 189, and because first time that I bought it in this account it was at uh, 189.92 so I got my average down today that's called dollar cost average um, and now my average is 187 so now we just waiting on it to go back up not waiting on it to go back up but Earnings is coming and that's another thing to consider some companies sell off at earnings or just before earnings because it done ran up coming into earnings That's a pattern you want to pay attention to because different companies act differently uh, Coming up on earnings and during earnings and after earnings uh, So if you can recognize some patterns, then that's going to help you. I hadn't really paid a lot of attention to how Amazon stock moves around earnings time. It's um, something easy to basically research if you want to. It's just not that important to me with Amazon because it's Amazon. And uh, I think a lot of people recognize the value in any significant dip. All they're gonna do is come in there and buy unless something significant affects Amazon in a negative way unless there's big bad news then I think Amazon is only going to retract or retrace so low so uh, I'm satisfied with that 186.08 and uh, hey you can stay at 185 another month if you want to give me a chance to get a few dollars together and, and get some more shares thank you <laughs>